Hey guys! In this video, we are going to test the best mountain bike saddle you can buy right now. I made this checklist based on my personal opinions and study time. And I've listed them based on the security and pricing features I've included for options for each type of consumer. So you can easily verify this best mountain bike saddle for yourself or your family. We always try to provide customers with informative ideas so that they can easily verify any product. If you would like more information and would like to set an updated price on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Our first choice the Volt Race has been a staple in WTB saddle range for many years. It isn't the least expensive model we tested, but this reasonably priced competitor is an incredible value considering the level of comfort and performance it delivers. Not only is the Volt Race a good value, but it's also very comfortable with a classic design that has stood the test of time. A slightly cradled shape that rises gently toward the tail provides a comfortable and supportive platform with medium density padding and shallow anatomical groove and comfort zone cut out in the shell to reduce pressure in the center. At 239G for the 135mm width we tested, the Volt Race is also lightweight considering the price. Testers found this saddle to offer exceptional versatility, with applications ranging from all disciplines of mountain biking to road riding. At number 2 s Club takes a very scientific approach to the design of their saddles and the 611 Ergowave Active features the most thoughtful ergonomic design we've ever seen. It provides a high degree of comfort that starts with a proper fit, and s Club will even send you a fit kit to measure your sit bones so you get the correct width, it comes in four sizes. The saddle has a unique step tip to tail profile with a high tail that positions the rider right in the sweet spot for proper weight distribution on the sit bones. It's also got a generous channel in the center for relief on the perineal area, and an extra wide and flat nose that feels great when you need to get your weight forward on steep climbs. It has a stiff shell and minimal padding, plus it features their active technology that allows for a small degree of side-to-side -side rocking of the tail that is intended to match the body's biomechanics when pedaling. It also seems highly durable with the TLO rails mold into the bottom of the shell and a Kevlar reinforced tail to protect it during crashes. At number 3 the Tioba Spider Outland is an attention-grabbing and unique-looking mountain bike saddle. The design of this saddle is intended to reduce weight while also distributing the rider's weight over a flexible web of material that is suspended over a carbonite skeleton of sorts. The result of this innovative design is the lightest saddle in our test, weighing in at 202G with the included anti-slip pads and a Featherlight 178G when used without. While it looks like it might not be all that comfortable, the Spider Outline's flexible web seat cover surprised our testers with a comfortable and suspended feel, different from any other saddle we tested. On the trail, this saddle performed well, with a narrow width and tapered tail that provided excellent freedom of movement. The Spider Outline is only offered in one width, and at 125mm it is the narrowest saddle we tested. This width won't work for everyone, but if you have narrow sit bones or prefer a narrower saddle, then this could be a good option for you. The Tioga Spider Outland may scare some people off with its distinctive looks and unorthodox design, but this saddle delivers an impressively lightweight and surprisingly comfortable package assuming you need or want a narrower saddle. At number 4 the Spank Uzi 220 is a reasonably priced mountain bike saddle that impressed us most with its comfort. It comes in 144mm width that worked well for our testers and should suit a wide range of sit bone widths. It has a shallow pressure relief channel that provides relief to the perineal area and a relatively flat side-to-side -side profile. It has a generally classic shape, though with an extra wide nose that feels great when you get your weight forward on steeper climbs. The wings of the saddle have pressure zone contours that do a wonderful job of cradling the sit bones and a little rise in the tail gives added support and helps to keep you in the sweet spot. The medium density padding feels just right and stays comfortable on any length ride. Additionally, the low friction synthetic cover material combines with the snag-free shape to allow for unobstructed freedom of movement. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a nice day.